Austin, what was the energy and practice like this week? As, you know, Coach Leach said he really kind of challenged you guys last week when it came to focus. So, you know, what, what was preparation like this week in practice? Yeah, he definitely did. He challenged us to come out hot, you know, take every day to make the most of it. And I like what we did. As a team, I think we uh, stepped up, you know, accepted that challenge. We rose to it. I think we had a really good week of preparation. Everybody's bought in, working on, you know, focused on little details, trying to do everything right. And I think that reflected in today's win. Too, Lucas, you guys going with that opening kickoff return. And I know the last three games or so, uh, going back to the bowl game last year, he's really helped you guys out a ton on special teams. And just, I, I asked Coach Leach this, but what makes him so electric and, and, and so good and so explosive in those moments? I mean, he's just got elite speed. When he the ball's in his hands, he's amazing with it. He can see the holes, make a guy miss, run through arm tackles. I mean, he, he's an amazing returner, honestly. He makes all the guys blocking. I'm, I'm on kickoff return myself. And it makes our job easy, honestly. I mean, he, he hits a hole. And it's, He's just, I mean, he's electric, you know? Austin, the offense kind of struggled after two loose kickoff return. I think it was early in the second quarter for you guys, got your first first down. What what kind of changed on that next to last drive, the one that was capped off by Malik's touchdown? What, what kind of changed there on that drive? Not like, it's not like we made you know different calls or different adjustments. Honestly, it's just we had to come out and execute our plays. You know, we had a slow start. We had a couple of lulls throughout the game, and you know that's that's on us. You know, that's not something we were happy with. Like I think we want to, we want to be more consistent throughout. We want to come out hot, start hot. You know, we get the ball first. You want to come out and score that first drive. Honestly, and kind of make a statement. So yeah, we had a little lull. You know, defense stepped up. Tulu did well for us, but we just got to work and be a little bit more consistent. Austin, you mentioned the defense stepped up, uh, even though you're working on your own game plans to the side. What was it like watching the defense just get stop after stop, particularly that end zone interception? Oh, I mean, that'll motivate you how hard they're playing. I mean, they're just giving everything to the team. Just play, I mean, they're just executing at such a high level. It's awesome. It brings juice to everybody, helps the sideline, gets us motivated, feeling good, knowing they got our back. I mean, it's, it's great. Hey, Austin, uh, from, from week one to week two, I mean, have you seen any adjustments from Will just in, in terms of his footwork or his patience in the pocket or anything like that? Or what, what kind of stood out to you about him today? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know about the footwork and all that stuff. But uh, I mean, he's like, he looks good. You know, he's taking a leadership role. He's speaking up. You know, he's breaking us down. He's just he's controlling the offense, making some sideline adjustments, talking to everybody. He's just kind of stepping up and being that leadership, uh, you know, kind of veteran role a little bit. Austin, you've been around a few 24 hours and been a part of some big wins. You know, what, what does this one mean for you know, a team that's relatively young it's to, to get a win over a Power 5 opponent and push ahead to 2-0? and I think it's awesome. Uh, I mean, just come, like you said, Power 5 point, uh, ACC. I mean, they played really well. I mean, the first game was a 45 zip. I mean, they were a strong opponent. They played really hard in all phases. I mean, for us to come out, I think, in this manner and you know, kind of handle business, it was, I think it's awesome for all the guys kind of see you know, our potential, what we can be. and kind of give us you know, something to keep on growing and you know, just kind of keep on taking more steps. Dylan, uh, I asked also the same question. After two lose return, the offense kind of struggled to find some rhythm, but it seems like things picked up late in the half. Uh, it finished off that drive with Malik. What was what was kind of being said in the huddle during that drive to help y'all go up 14 to three? Just be consistent. You know, uh, Coach Lee always talks about being consistent. We're trying to find our rhythm, you know, as an offense. And I feel like as like the year goes on, we're going to continue to get better as offense. Steve? Dylan, you had a few ch struggles last week, especially in that first half. Really good second half, but a much better game today. What did you maybe do this week to, to flush that, to kind of get that behind you? And why do you think you were so successful today? Um, it was all about confidence, man. Uh, last week, I got my confidence kind of took for a second. And then I had to go back. You know, rewatch the game, and I had to tell myself, I had to let people know, like, like I got to bounce back, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I have rough games. Everybody has a rough game, but I just saw just a confidence thing, bro. I just, I had my confidence had got took, and this this game was, I had it back, you know. So yeah. Hey Dylan, uh, when you're trying to work that confidence back, and you're trying to get it back, is there something you watch specifically, or like, how do you try to get it back? No, just. Talking to my parents, you know, uh, was the, was a big thing. And actually, I went to church on Wednesday, you know what I'm saying, because um, God really, like, had to touch me. Because I, I, I went into it kind of like, not a depression, but like a little dark dark moment for a second. 
and I re just really had to just talk to God, and he really helped me out, seriously. Dylan, it's getting to where I, I don't know if you guys feel it on the sidelines, but every time Tulu's back to return a kick or something, there's like a feeling that something might happen uh, with the way things have been going. Like, just for you, I, I know you're his teammate and all, but just what, what do you guys feel like when you, when you see Tulu back there and a kick fixing to go, up, go off and you, and you know something might happen? Look, that man's different. <laughs> he's different. Like, you know, they, every time when he's back there, like, we just all know, like, he can take it home any second. Anytime he touches the ball, he's a home run hitter. So he gives us confidence. He gives us life. He gives us that spark, you know. So definitely when he's back there, he's, he's different. I'll definitely say that. Last one. Hey, you mentioned that, you know, talking to your parents, going to church. Was that your parents' idea to go on church on, on Wednesday, or was that something that you just decided, like, that, that can get me on track? No, nah, I, just, I just needed to go to church, bro. I haven't, I haven't been to church in a, a little while. And I just needed to go and speak to God. And he really spoke to me, you know what I'm saying? And I really need to, like, be around, like, motive, like positive people, you know. And, and that's what I try to keep around me. About. Well, I try to keep around me as positive people. And that's, you know, church, you know, Pine Lake was the church I went to. But that's definitely, like, a church I would recommend people to go to. But, yeah, um, I just need to go and speak to God. And he definitely helped me out. And I flushed the guy last game. Jalen, if you will take us through the interception, what were you seeing there, and how were you able to stay home, make a play there? Uh, at first, I was just like going over my technique and like my assignment, what I what I had to do, and I I just fell in the right place. Jalen, on that fumble recovery, it kind of seemed like the, the ball got punched out and then sat there for like a second or two. I mean, did, did you kind of see it right away, swoop in right away, or, or did it take you a second to notice that it was out? Um, I, I seen it, but I, I ain't know, like, I was, like, that close, so I just jumped on it, and it kind of surprised me, though. Hey, Jalen, what was the confidence level just from the defense after you guys get the two short yardage fields after the short punts? I mean, just when you get those stops, I mean, just kind of what's the, what's the confidence level? I mean, as we go out, like, if you get a three and out, like, as the game goes, you get more confidence. And then, like, that builds on top of uh, every series. So, it was pretty confident. And Coach challenged us to uh, play more physical. And I think we showed that today. Last week, you guys gave up some big plays to Louisiana Tech. No really big plays until late today. But so... <laughs> How did you guys eliminate the big plays, and, and how would you kind of assess the play of the defense this week compared to last week? I mean, we just we just like took took it on one play at a time. We just stayed focused, did our assignments, and did and did our job. That's all we could do. David, you talk about coach challenging you. You know, think back to last week, and what was the difference in being able to play you know, over three full quarters this week? And, and you know, not starting later, getting slack. What were y'all really focused on, especially to stop their run game? Yeah, uh, we knew that we was gonna try to run the ball, so we we uh, we honed on the run on the running game. So I think uh, we did a pretty good job stopping the run game and trying to make them pass. And that was what we were focused on. Hey, Jalen, what did tonight tell you about your defense as a whole and what you guys were able to do? Uh, we got some dogs on defense. We played with a lot of uh, swag and comfort, I mean confidence, and we got a lot to show. Jack, Coach had some high praise about your approach earlier when we asked him about it. Kind of walk me through what your approach is coming into a game like this against a big uh, out-of-conference opponent. Yeah, for sure. Well, they had a, everybody knows they had a tremendous week one. And, uh, you know, those two power backs they got, um, they rushed for 300 yards or so. And so we knew, we knew it was going to be a huge challenge. And so we stepped up to the plate. I feel like we played well collectively as a, as a team and a defensive unit. So it was a, it was a good game and a good win for sure. Earlier in the week, you know, some of the defensive players in the media talked about knowing they're going to run, and that's job one for you guys to stop in the run, and Arnett put places a premium on it. Do you like those matchups when you know that a team is going to come in looking to kind of establish the running game? And if so, what does that do for the defense when you kind of know it's going to be a physical grinded out game like that? Yeah, no doubt about it. We knew it was going to be, a, like you said, a grinded out game, and it was a challenge for us, huge challenge early in the season to say, you know, what kind of defense are we going to be? Are we going to be a uh, – you know, a, a really tough, powerful defense and stop the run and force them to, um, 
you know, throw the ball and everything. And our defensive line did great uh, job, you know, muddying things up. And, and our pursuit was really good. So it was, a, it was a good challenge. And I think we stepped up. You guys talked about a bit of fall camp, just this defense's ability to kind of create takeaways. I mean, multiple multiple games already this season with, with multiple takeaways. I mean, wh why do you feel this unit is so good at doing that? I think it's our effort. Uh, you know, Coach Arnett and the defensive staff preach, uh, you know, fanatical effort on every play because you never know, you know, the, the outcome of the play. And so uh, I think it's our effort just pursuing to the ball with, you know, with um, high intent and uh, bad intentions. And so um, I think it's our effort. In terms of limiting the big plays, a couple of them last week, but they, you know, that didn't happen tonight. In what ways, you know, did you kind of limit those big plays? Yeah, I think we learned from from the big plays. Uh, we had a great scouting report going in, um, and so they did pretty much what we thought they were going to do, and uh, just being disciplined with our eyes and, and and being in the kind of the right spots and and making them playing high to low and forcing them check downs and stuff like that. Last week, the only sack defense credited with was an intentional grounding. But you know, tonight, a lot of pressure, and especially from the front. When you see guys like Randy and, and uh, Jaden you know, kind of knifing through there and making a big play, what does that do for you guys in the back? Yeah, uh, like I said, you know, those guys had a big game up front. Co Coach Leach said, you know, that the offensive line, defensive line played really well tonight, and they really did. And so that, I think that's a huge confidence booster for those two guys and, and the D line uh, collectively. Yeah, um, you know, I've waited my time here. Uh, this is my dream school, and so I knew this is where I want to be. And uh, when I came in, we had some really good linebackers, really good. And so, uh, you know, I've waited my time and just kind of trusted the process, worked hard every day, you know, kind of blue nose, blue collar mentality. And, um, you know, I'm thankful Coach Arnett trusted to, or put me in in bigger roles this, this season. So I'm trying to make the, the best of my opportunity.